I'm Dana Honklein here with Greta Gerwig for Lady Bird. How the cast come together? They, they, cast, they feel yeah. like a family. Yeah. Um, well, I, I had written the whole script without anyone in mind because I don't. I don't tend to write with actors in mind. I just try to get to the heart of the characters and then. Um, and then figure out who's going to play them later. And the first person I cast was Saoirse, and I'm, I cast her in the fall of 2015, but then she was, she was promoting Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and then she was going to be on Broadway in the Crucible for six months. So I moved the movie, because <laughs> I was like, well, you're the part, so I'm going to move it. I, I was going to shoot in the spring, and then I was like, nope, I'm going to wait until you're available. So I had her first, and then... I was just very lucky that my producer, Scott Rudin, was completely supportive of me going out and getting exactly the actors I wanted and trying to get the very best actors available. And he, he was like, let's, let's do this right. I mean, let's get, let's get an amazing ensemble. And so I think, you know, sometimes, sometimes you deal with producers who ask you to like, Compromise. cast it up <laughs> yeah. or like make it and the thing was he was like no is it's it, this movie's going to work if it's if it if it's if it's cast right and if the actors are great so do that so that's what we did and um you know it was just i mean i tracy Letts, i just met him um at sundance and i was a huge fan of his writing and his acting and then i met him and he had this incredible sweetness that you never get to see um, and I thought, oh, you're a big old softy at heart. I want to. I want you to. And he said yes right away. And then, you know, Lori uh, Metcalf had like she felt very connected to the journey of the letting go, which is always the other side of the coming of age. And um, she said yes right away. Lucas I'd seen in Manchester by the Sea, um, and I said I told him. I, you know, I adore you. <laughs> Let's do this. And he said yes. And then Timmy, um, Sh Timothy Chalamet, I'd seen him in a play in New York. And it was actually, I cast him before he made Call Me By Your Name. So he made Call Me By Your Name and then Lady Bird. Boom, boom. One, two. And um, yeah, it's just been a very, it was just an incredible experience. Beanie Feldstein just auditioned. She walked in and auditioned and she was so perfect. And I left, she left the room and I said, who is that girl? Said, that's Beanie Feldstein and so we cast her and it was just um I really spent a lot of time trying to get to to allow the cast to get to know each other beforehand because Sersh was in New York working on Broadway and so many other act so many of the other actors were New York based and I just it wasn't even for rehearsals exactly I just have them come over and hang out I just wanted them to like trade phone numbers so they could like start a text chain and be each other's allies because I think that's so important that there's this community of trust that the actors have with each other, because acting is so vulnerable. <laughs> and um, so anyway, they they and they they all became good friends, <laughs> which makes me so pleased. And then yeah, I know, obviously the, the the cast is so huge. Every time I like talk about people, I forget. So then like Stephen McKinley Henderson and Lois Smith are just two of my favorite actors of all time. Um, Jordan Rodriguez and Marielle Heller both auditioned and they were so perfect and beautiful and I was just so, I was so lucky to find them. I mean really, the cast, it's a deep bench. And that's why I think the movie works is because of the actors. No, and it's 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 interesting how many of them have theater backgrounds. Yeah, I think totally. It's probably great and important, and something that they can like relate to the. I love. I mean, as theater is my first love, and I think I'm also not afraid of. Um, I think some directors are afraid of act, acting. Acting. They don't want acting. They want everything to look like not acting, which I understand. But if you've got a great actor, they, they can act, and it's still it's still be it's still real. But I don't think you have to be afraid of capital A acting. Um, it, it's not it, it, it doesn't have to be a thing you shy away from. And and I I felt like I wanted them to be able to to do what they do.